The total number of toys means the number of type P toys plus the number of type Q toys. So X plus Y. More than means more than 40. 40. The machine can operate for only 15 hours a day. It means that the time used to produce type P toys and type Q toys should not be more than 15 hours a day. The time required to produce a type of P toy is 6 minutes. We have X number of type P toys, though the time used to produce X number of type P toys is 6X. The time required to produce type Q toys is 5 minutes. We have Y number of type Q toys. So the time used to produce Y number of type Q toys is 5Y. Only 15 hours a day, it means not more than 15 hours a day. So not more than 15 hours a minute to convert it into minute. So 15 times 60. Then simplify it. The ratio of the number of type P toys to the number of type Q toys means X to Y. At most, less than or equal 3 to 5, 3 to 5. X to Y can be written as X per Y, and 3 to 5 can be written as 3 per 5. Then we do cross multiplication. Then we change the position of X and Y. Then the three lines must be drawn on the graph. We need at least two points to draw each line. When x equals 0, y equals 40. And when y is 0, x is 40. When x is 0, y is 180. When y is 0, x is 150. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 30, y is 50. x0, y40. y0, x40. Connect both points with dash line because there is no equal. More than mean above the dash line. This part x0 y 180 y0 x 150. Connect both points with solid line because there is equal. Y less than or equal means below the solid line. Part. x0 y0 x30 y50 connect both points with solid line because there is equal y more than or equal means above the solid line so the shaded region is here label it as r so the total shows is 5x plus 3y we need to draw this equation on the graph. Normally, we plot 5 on y axis and plot 3 on x axis, but 5 and 3 is too small. So, I multiply both of them with 20. So, I plot 100 on y axis and plot 60 on x axis. 100, 60, and at both points. The line both up until it reach the furthest points of the shaded region. And this point is a maximum total seal. And then this line is both down to the furthest points of the shaded region. And this point is the minimum total seals. This is the equation of the total seals. When the line is moving up and reach the first point of the shaded region, this point is the minimum total sales. So the minimum total seal is 120. Nook finds the value of x and y. Then the line is moving up again until it reaches the furthest point of the shaded region. This is the maximum total sales. We need to find the value of x and y. The maximum point is 62105. We sub 62105 into the equation, and the maximum total seal is 625. The minimum point is 040. We sub 
the points into the equation. So the minimum total shield is 120. We need to find the range of total shields, so we write it this way. There is no equal here because this is dashed line. 